Well, folks, Fat Guy Flies RC out here at the Air Avon Park Air Modelers Club. Going to take up the E Flight 1.2 meter T28 Trojan. Going to have a little bit of fun with her. Now, this plane is the smart plane, got the smart ESC and smart battery and smart motor and smart plane and crazy pilot. So, uh, Got takeoff flaps, landing flaps, uh, retracts, right aileron, left aileron, up elevator, down elevator, right rear, left rudder, motor on. Um, probably won't need to do flaps today, given the wind. Wow. <laughs> Man, she just, I wasn't, <laughs> really kind of goosed that throttle, didn't I? But, with this plane here, I have learned bitterly that do not take your, your, your gear up in a turn. Just don't do it. Always take your gear up and down when you're flying level. Okay, like now. All right. Gonna land at the wind here. It is awfully windy today. There. Yeah, it is awfully windy today, and of course, it's kind of cross breeze, so. All right, oh, we gotta get rid of that beeping sound. All right, you hear that constant beeping with your throttle? What you do, you go to your timer, okay? Go to your timer, go to the very, very last screen, okay? It says tone, put on inhibit. All three of them. Put them all on, on inhibit. And then you won't hear that annoying constant noise. All right. That's actually I'm going to start raining here. Let's see if we can't do a more of a scale takeoff instead of a sudden jump. I'm running a 3200 4S in her. Okay. So let's actually see if we can't do more of a truer scale takeoff here. There. Going straight, so I'll put my gear up there. This is one sweet flying Trojan. I can tell you that right now. Really is one very great flying Trojan. Landing flaps, gear down. I'm gonna bring her by slow and dirty. And what I mean by that, by slant dirty, everything's down. Flaps are down, gear is down. We're gonna take another turn in that same configuration and we're going to land it that way now wouldn't suggest this plane necessarily on uh, grass ops whoa sorry about that um, because and I'll show you why if you look, number one, it's got really small wheels. And the other thing, you got these, uh, if you look on the sides, you see those skirts, they're going to dig in the grass. And uh, now, if you got really, really short grass, like on a golf green, then yeah, and it's nice and level, yeah. But basically, re retracts are like this the harder you are on them, the harder the surface are uh, on them the quicker they're gonna malfunction on you, so. Gear up. Time remaining, three minutes. 
All right, my timer is set for four and a half minutes, just so you're, just so that you're aware. Okay. Yeah, it is so windy here, folks. So, but like I said before, it's one of those things that, you know, you're in this hobby to enjoy it. Wind will make you a stronger pilot, that's for sure. However, at the same time, you don't want to be out here and not enjoy yourself. And my depth perception was off there. All right, we're going to have to have a better landing with that. But my thing is, if you're out here and you're having to constantly fight the wind, you know, just how much are you enjoying yourself? You know, are you just fly, flying to fight the wind and hope you get it down in one piece? You know, how much fun is that? And it's not. Landing flaps. You know, that's not fun at all. So. Bring it right at me and then turn it. There we go. Flaps up. See what I'm saying? I'm doing lawn maintenance with an air doing lawn maintenance with an RC airplane because that prop, look at the prop clearance. I'm gonna bring the plane back towards us. And that's the other thing about grass in this plane. Okay, you can see the edge of the prop with the, the coloration. You can see it spinning. You can see the bottom of that nose gear. See, let's get, get right here even with us. See how you've only got maybe an inch of clearance there between the ground and the bottom of that prop. So you're, if you're in the grass, well then, you know, you're cutting grass with that prop trying to get up off the ground. And if you don't get up off that ground quickly, well, then you're gonna have yourself a nose over and maybe a little bit of speed and now you've got a crash and now you've got damage and now you're not happy and then you know a newer pilot's gonna get discouraged so you know with RC planes it's one of those you pick your battles kind of type things you know you want to be able to fly but at the same time you don't want the conditions and the terrain and everything to be to where you can't even enjoy yourself. There we go. All right. I think I have figured out how to land this plane for today. And every day that you come out here, it's you're going to be figuring, like today I'm figuring out how to land this plane today because of the way the wind is. You know, this wind is basically coming from this direction going straight across the runway this way so i'm having to land here towards in that way in order to get a, a decent landing so all right i was going straight pretty much straight when i put my gear up they went up just fine let's get ourselves a nice pass Put my gear down. Landing flaps. Yeah. For me, for this configuration today is the best way to fly this plane today. Next time I come out here, it might be a totally different direction, totally different configuration, but you have to be willing to adapt. You get towards me. There, I'll take that. Sloppy, but I'll take it. And I'll do one more. Like I say, I'm running a 3200 4S. Enter. All right. Bleed off some of that speed. There, that's much better. <laughs> you know, I had to have a better landing there. All right.
time expired. All right, motor off. Now let's take a look at all this fancy technology we got here. All right, got maybe a third battery, um, 3.84 all the way down. And uh, I don't, people say there is a percentage on here, but I'll be hanging if I can find it. You know, maybe I'm just not looking, but uh, still plenty of really good. Uh, that's four and a half minute timer. So still got 3.8 all the way down. Motors off. Good looking plane. Motors off. Really good looking plane. And uh, let me show you another problem when you land planes like this in, in grass. Look at it. Look at this. I got, I'm gonna have a lot of big cleanup work, but that's okay. You know, if that's the only place you got to fly, it's the only place you got to fly, right? But uh, like I said, you pick your battles. You know, do you want to fly in a really windy day on a bad terrain? You know? Um, but man, that's a good looking plane. Even, even dirty. She dirty. So, all right, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends, and then planes. Bye, y'all.